Okay, so we did our topic on staying healthy. Oh, okay, so ours is on staying healthy. <laughs> um, because as you enter college, staying healthy is like a main part of what you need to do because all of everyone knows about like freshman 15, so it's important to like exercise, like eat healthy. What? Freshman 15, like, Lilia. Wait, I don't actually know what that means. Though. Like, yeah, everyone says, like, you gain 15 pounds, like, yeah. What? You gain a lot of weight in college, because, like, no one's there to help you. Oh, that's because you don't have, like, PE and stuff. No, and your parents are there to It's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle, like establishing a daily routine, getting enough sleep, eating healthy, stuff like that. How do I do this? Yeah. Ah. There it is. There it is. This the book of success. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we chose this topic because it's really important for people entering college to know how to stay healthy and how to take care of themselves. Um, it's always something that you should focus on because your your physical health and your mental health are really important for like keeping good grades and staying alert. Okay, so some of the facts we had, sleep deprivation can lead to reduced brain function, fatigue, headaches, and weight loss or weight gain. So don't make partying or like pulling all-nighters a habit. Um, it's important to stay hydrated throughout the day. It can enhance your concentration and keep you from overeating. Uh, relaxing and having downtime is essential to staying healthy too. Uh, stress can cause many problems that affect your health, so it's important to create a daily routine and give yourself a break. And eating, eating a healthy diet can boost um, a college student's immune system. You should always eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Try to avoid late-night snacks. And if you're going to eat late-night snacks, it's important to, like, eat, like, fruits and vegetables, stuff like that. At Oneonta, there are a lot of options to help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. There's a student health and wellness center that you can go to Monday through Friday to treat illnesses or injuries or just to go there to check on general health. There's a fitness center, which is just a gym where you can go and work out. And the counseling center is open so that you can help develop skills and manage any personal concerns that could possibly be unhealthy. Ready? Ready? Okay, support systems at Ithaca. Um, Hamid Health Center offers treatment for illness and injury just like Oneana. There's a counseling center and a psychological services help with any issues that you're dealing with, like stress management, stuff like that. Um, center for Health Promotion encourages healthy behaviors and environment for the campus. Students by giving advice on like al how to handle alcohol and drugs. It provides a fitness center also to stay in shape, keep your body healthy. Weight gain, weight loss, and 
stress and it will reduce your brain function. Don't let stress from school turn into stress eating. Um, try taking a break or working out if you feel stressed. And create a routine, because if you, get into, if you get into the habit of studying, working out, and sleeping at the right times, it'll be easier to fit other things into your schedule without making you feel stressed. Oh, sorry. Ready? Yeah. Brendan, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and three questions we had. Are there any meal plans at school to help with maintaining a healthy diet? Are there any personal trainers at colleges that you can go to for workouts in the gym? And what percent of colleges offer intramural sports as an option for staying healthy? And then we have a video. Is this oh, this is how to prepare, but go ahead. <laughs> um, in order to stay healthy in college, you need how to learn how to portion your foods correctly, make sure you're not overeating or undereating. Um, keep healthy snacks in your dorm instead of just keeping junk food so that when you're hungry, you can eat like an apple instead of Oreos or something. Uh, limit sugary and caffeinated beverages. Um, even though you may not think so, drinks do count. They can make you gain weight and they put fat in your body that you don't need, so you should drink water. Can I click on this? Oh, how do I click on this? You just copy and paste it out there. No. Sponsored by Blue Shield of California, a not-for-profit health plan. Getting enough sleep and proper nutrition are just some of the challenges college students face. I'm Jeanette Pavini, and in the next few minutes, learn the best ways to keep your kids healthy while they're away at school. I have absolutely no control. <laughs> As a personal trainer, Sandy does the heavy lifting of keeping her family healthy. She worried about her daughter's well-being when she left for college. When an 18-year-old heads off to college, they have a sense of independence, a sense of freedom. They're away from their parents. And I'll use that, that opportunity to talk with them in my office to, to go over some basic medical issues. Even though teens might not want to hear it, parents and the doctor should talk with them about posting the phone numbers for campus health resources, stopping a basic first aid kit in their dorm room, and they need strategies for dealing with drugs and alcohol. Someone always has to be the designated driver. If you're drinking, you never leave your drink. You don't give your drink to someone else. Um, if you have left it somewhere, you throw it away. School can be much more stressful than when mom and dad were on campus. Mental health issues are, are a big concern in college. The, it's estimated that maybe the rate of depression in college students is maybe as high as 50%. And so most health care centers now in college campuses actually have psychologists and therapists on campus to help with these issues. It actually went okay, surprisingly. You know, I, she usually needed a lot of tender loving care when she was sick at home, so I was actually really surprised that she was able to do it herself. But I'm right, you know, she did well. It's also a good idea to get a full checkup as well as a dental and eye exam before heading off to college. For more information on this health topic, now back to the Today Show. And then that's it.